Hi! In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can create complex symbology like this for your maps. So, to create these uh, labels, I'm going to use uh, some data from openflights.org but uh, see that only as an example uh, you can use any kind of data you uh, you have access to um, so i've created imported uh, that data from open flights into a geo package and uh, the table let's see looks a bit like this where we have airport ids names cities countries etc and um, I want to create a complex label uh, as a symbology for this. Uh, so let's see what we have to work with. Uh, as you can see here, it is quite possible and easy to create uh, labels with a lot of information, uh, but it, it can be hard to find exactly the information you want uh, another thing is that the styling for your labels is the same for the entire label you can't separate uh, parts of the label uh, into uh, for instance some bold text or uh, italic text so i need to do it some other way uh, and for that, I'm going to start by creating my symbol, base symbol. And instead of a simple marker, I'm going to use an ellipse marker. And I'm going to use a squarish rectangle. Um, and here is an important thing. You need to consider how you are going to use your symbology. Is it mainly for screen? Uh, then you can do whatever here. If you want to tailor your maps for a specific scale, I would suggest use map units and do that consistently throughout this process. Uh, I'm going to try and remember to set everything in points. Um, not because it's better, just because... Uh, it works for me in this case so let's set a size that's probably a bit too small for demonstration purposes that's too big 150 and height maybe half that like that I don't need any fill and I want the line to be in points and about that big mitered corners and if i add the point original point i would like to have the top of this rectangle uh, at the center of the point top as anchor point like that and uh, let's pick my purple color for this and now I can remove that point like that so labels as I mentioned you can have one label uh, if you want to you can create copies of your layer and choose different labels for each layer and build your um, symbology on that uh, i'm going to do it a different way uh, which is not quite as powerful but it's easier uh, and it will only be one layer and one layer style so i need to select uh, what information i want to use for uh, the label the primary label let's put it like that uh, and i will choose the city name so in my label I will change from this to 
let's see where do we have city city like that and it should be a bit bigger I want it to be all uppercase and it should be on the point and I want to offset it in points so the bottom part of it matches the uh, the frame and i think that's a i want it a bit bolder like that let's space the characters apart a bit more and i think this will be too big yeah let's go for that and the same color and then I'm going to use a new feature in uh, QGIS uh, 3.12, and that's masking. So I will enable masking with, I think, beveled corners, which will not work unless I put it in as a data defined override. Uh, miter. Like that. Nothing happens, and that's because I need to tell. Uh, QGIS what should be masked and that is my frame like that and as you see here in Ronneby there is some leftovers I can leave it like that but I want to remove the leftovers so I increase the mask like that okay that's as much uh, I can do with labels but the rest of the text I need to do in some other way. And I will do that by using uh, markers. And that will be font markers. So for my first font, let's see what we can go with. Let's use that font just because I can. And I want the same color. And I want it to be in points. Make it a bit bigger. And I want to offset it in Y axis in points. About there, and it's a bit too big. Maybe like that. Let me just s magnify it a bit. Move it down a bit further, like that. That's probably okay. So, this is just a marker. But in QGIS, I can uh, use data defined overrides for what characters to type here. So, I could put some text in, but I could also use um, a field value or oh that's only the strings so I can use uh, the expression uh, expression string builder to use fields and I want to use the airport ID but I want to explain what it is so I put in airport ID like that and we concatenate it with the value in the field so it will say airport ID and so on like that and it's a bit too big Okay, uh, next I want the, the call signs or the ICAO and uh, IATA uh, codes. And uh, I just duplicate my, my font marker 
move it down a bit more and then I modify this so I want another font and this should be maybe that one now I want a condensed font and make it a bit bigger and the content should be see fields I had the and ical um I know that some uh, let's test it uh, yeah some are missing uh, the iata uh, symbology and I don't want it to say backslash n so I can make a conditional line here so if Iata equals backslash n, then it should just be a dash. Otherwise, it should use this one. However, I don't think this will work. No, it didn't. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because the backslash is not a backslash. Uh, so I will instead count the numbers because it should be three letters. So if the length of that one is less than three. And that, that didn't work either. Oh, less than. <laughs> like that. Now we're talking. Okay. Uh, these small things are almost certainly issues you need to work around. And uh, if the obvious solution is not available, you need to find an an option and do it some other way so this is how I did it here okay then I can uh, continue with my styling like that okay I will uh, use this one and duplicate it and move it down And maybe use an um, italic font. Um, there is no option to style the fonts you choose. Uh, for instance, you can't select bold or italic. So you need to have a font that has the characteristics you want uh, in its original form. So in this case, I um, looked for a font that had a slanted style here I want the elevation of uh, the airport so altitude and the value and I want it, the user to know that this is in feet, like that. Okay, duplicate that. Move it down. And here I want a small font. And down here it should be the 
just the name of the the airfield which can be something else other than the city name okay let's see okay now i have created my basic symbology so now i need to check uh, in other locations to see that it works um, and one thing i think will be an issue is the length of the city name so let me just find a long city there we go that's a long one um, one thing you could do is to adapt your font sizes and uh, the size of your symbology overall um, in other cases you could just live with it so i will not expand my symbology to this size because uh, everything else will look kind of silly so i think i'm actually quite happy with the size of this symbology so hopefully this will help you the next time you need to create some complex symbology for your maps see you next time